Hey guys. Okay, so it's now Monday morning. Um, after the weekend of replacing the entire flooring, I've now... Um, today I'm going to do the bitumen paint on the underside. Um, so I'll show you the product I'm going to use. By the way, this is not sponsored. This is just a product that was recommended to me um, at Bunnings. So it's grip set bitumen rubber. Um, so apparently it's supposed to be really good. It's waterproofing. It does either a membrane or a paint. Uh, membranes for if you're doing things like um, fish ponds and um, things like that. They're going to be submersed under water or fence posts. Um, for what I'm doing for it, it's just general waterproofing. Um, so I'm just doing a one-to-one -one ratio to make it a paint. Uh, also dries quicker and cures quicker and things like that. So, yeah. Let's get started. Always consult the wife first. Um, I just said to my wife that I was ready to start painting and she reminded me that around the wheel wells at the back there's an additional little lip that causes the board to sit higher and to rock. Um, so I've got to sand it down around there so it sits flush on the ground before I paint it because if I paint it first and then burn it down I need to repaint and that's just a waste of time. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so I've done the first coat on um, all the panels now. It's a bit dusty and, as I say, it's a bit windy and wind is blowing dust all over the panels, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, but they're all drying, they need two hours to dry. Well, say, it says two to four hours for drying time, so we'll set an alarm for two hours. Okay, Google, set an alarm for two hours. Perfect. Now, we are going to go inside the bus. All that dries. And I now have to scrape out all of the wood that's... Um, yeah, so... Now I've got to scrape out all the little bits of plywood that are still stuck to um, the floor and all the sticker flex. Um, so I've got two hours of doing that until the paint can have another recoat. Um, and Katie should be here with the kids in about half an hour. Um, so Katie and I can get stuck on scraping off all the sticker flex and stuff that's already down. Um, then I can get the wire brush and go through and try and clean up whatever's left and yeah, we can go from there. And you get a razor.
So Katie's just dropped by with the kids um, and they're about to go for a walk but she dropped off a uh, nice protein medicinal mushroom shake and some salad and hummus wraps for lunch. So I just wanted to say thank you very much to my lovely wife. I really do appreciate not having to make food, but getting to eat food, so. Okay, so after the first bite, or it's not just salad and hummus, it's salad, hummus, and like a vegan salmon thing. And oh my god, it tastes amazing. Mmm. Yum. So the first coat has now been two hours. I'm just gonna touch it, see if it's tacky, and if it is, we're gonna do the second coat. Sorry, if it's not tacky, if it's dry. No, that is completely dry, so we're gonna do, we're gonna quickly brush it all off, and then we're gonna do another coat. coat done. Um, I may even be able to get in a third coat just to make it a little bit better. Um, had the bucket splash all over me so this shirt is now going to be a painting shirt because well it's covered in the paint on the sleeve anyway. Um, but yeah I'm going to go back in the bus and work on some more sticker flips and whatnot. Yeah, we'll check back in another two hours. Okay, so I'm going to show you, um, so all the plywood, when we pulled it up, left like this um, leftover stuff with the Sikaflex. And we read that to get the Sikaflex off to use a razor blade. And the razor blade's been great, but when you've got like all this leftover stuff all over it as well, you can A, either chip the razor blade if you don't see any little screw holes or anything that are raised underneath it. Um, which is a pain, I've already gone through three of them just trying to get the Sikaflex off in a couple of different parts. Um, so I found that the easiest way to stop that from happening, it takes a little bit longer but at least becomes easier, um, and I found this is the easiest way to do it, is in these parts. You get a chisel and chisel side down, like yeah, bevel side down. So you've got a straight edge. Put that against there, and a rubber mallet or hammer or whatever you choose to use, and work your way along. And after that, you may just be left with a little bit of Sigaflex left over. But now you can actually see where different screw holes and raised bits are. So you just take the razor blade um, through there, shave it off, and then you've got a nice clean surface. But definitely using the chisel and, and hammer beforehand to get rid of all those wooden bits makes an absolute world of difference. Um, and I've found that that's definitely the easiest way for me going forward to actually get rid of the wood first and this is the last little bit that I've got to go and then a couple of little bits uh, over the metal supports in the middle between the wheel wells. But besides that I've already gotten the rest of it off and it's taken me maybe half an hour to an hour to do most of the bus um, and getting rid of all this and using the chisel and hammer uh, beforehand to get the, the wood off makes it a hell of a lot easier on the razor blade and personally I reckon it's a lot faster 
because one is just a sticker flex, the razor blade cuts through sticker flex so quickly. Um, so you can just get through it really easily. The reason it was taking so long beforehand is because the plywood is essentially harder than the, the plastic bit that holds the razor blade. Um, you don't really go a little bit or you have to go from the sides, which is a pain. So getting this the first makes the razor blade's job a lot easier just to cut through the sticker flex and, um, and yeah, be done. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that because I reckon it's a really good thing to know and wish I had known that two days ago when I started. Because um, that would have made a world of difference and I could have got through most of it already. Um, but yeah, handy little tip.